Welcome back guys to our next tutorial. Today we're going to actually get into building. So let's go ahead and open up our map, select our game, and we'll see where we left off with our room that we created last time. And what we'll do is we'll probably build another room off to the right here. But I'm going to zoom in and we're going to create another block just so I can show you a few more manipulation tools. Right now our texture is set to the AAA trigger and uh, we're going to change that. So let's, now that we know how to search for textures efficiently, we're going to type in Crete and get a basic concrete texture here. So let's use the block creation tool and draw a block, snapping to the grid. Right click, create. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Okay. Let's select the block. And you see when we select it, we get the eight handles here. This is just our resize handles. You can stretch the block up. You can go in either direction. And you have these corner handles, which will allow you to move diagonally in any degree like that. So just wanted you to be aware of how, your different ways. Now if we click click it again, you'll see the eight handles go away and we get these round handles, which will allow us to rotate. And we can change our rotation settings as well. So we go to Tools, Options, 2D views, and you see we have default to fixed degree rotation. Down here, fixed degree rotation step is set to 15 degrees, so when I rotate, you'll see it nudges 15 de degrees. Now we can turn that off, and we can get a free rotation. See, I can move it just a little bit. But I kind of like the 15 degrees, so we're going to go back into options. Keep it at 15. We could put 45 if we wanted to, but we're going to select default to fixed degree rotation, set that back, and hit OK. Now when we rotate, you see it kind of jumps to the nearest 15 degree rotation. If we click it, click into the box again, now we get handles just on the sides instead of the corners, and this is called shear. So if we click down on a handle, we can manipulate the block in that way where it looks sort of like a parallelogram. We can do that any way we want to. Now I don't normally use that shear mode because I uh, prefer to work with the vertex manipulation which we'll look into in more detail another time. So if let's go over it again we have the resize, the rotate, the shear, and we have a fourth option, which I actually had to look this up. This is called stretch, and it's similar to the resize, and with a cube, you're not going to notice any difference, but with larger, more complicated geometry, uh, it has some benefits, and we'll cover that another time. So I'm going to click back into the regular resize. And then last, this is kind of important, if you hit the arrow keys, it will nudge the block to the nearest grid. That is something that I use all the time. Now if you want that turned off, that's under Tools, Options, 2D, and then we're going to look for Arrow Keys Nudge Objects. We're going to keep that on. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't want that. So let's delete this block, and let's look into creating another room on this side. So I'm going to select this lower wall here. And we're going to go use our clipping tool. And what this does is I can draw a line through here and it's going to slice it in half. Now you'll notice that one side is red, one side is white, and our red side in the 3D view it has yellow border lines here. So what that does is the red side will be deleted. So let's go ahead and hit enter. 
you see it deleted that side. I'm actually going to undo that. Go back into the clip, keep the clipping the clipping tool selected, and we're going to do the same thing. But now I'm going to hit the clipping tool again, and it swaps it. So now that the right side of my 3D view, this part of the block will be deleted when I hit enter. Or we can hit the clipping tool one more time, and you see they both turn white, which means that you're going to keep both sides. So I'm going to hit enter. And now I have two blocks. I'll take my bigger half of the block and move it down a bit. So now we've created a gap. So let's see what we can do. We're going to need a floor, right? So let's stretch the floor out and we'll start working on a hallway here. So how about we do it about that long to the nearest highlighted grid. I'm going to select these two pieces, holding control, and we can also stretch these. So let's see what we're doing here. Alright, so we kind of have something going. I'm going to take this one up here, also stretch. Okay, and now we have a hallway. So let's get the ceiling, uh, the part under this hallway, to match the plain texture of the ceiling. So what we can do is go to our texture application mode. We're going to click left click on that part, the one we want. You see it goes here and right click there and it applies it. Okay, let's start building our other room here. Zoom over or pan to the right so we can see. And We'll keep on stretching the floor a little bit to about right here. And I'm going to select uh, using the application, the texture application. I'm going to left click to grab that texture again. And I'm going to start building some walls around here. Just like that. Zoom in on my 2D view. I'm going to move it up just a little bit for a cleaner look. Right click create. And I'm even going to go all the way. I'm going to make this as tall as the other room is. I'm going to draw another one here. Same thing. Right click create. We're going to do one last one over here. Right click create. All right, let's see if we can get these textures to look a little bit better. Go into Browse. Let's find something else. So we have... We can use this one for now. And let's paint all the sides. Right clicking. Alright, now we have a very gray looking room and that's okay because we can come back and change this at any time. Now let's go back to the browse and let's get a ceiling. And I probably spend half my time looking for textures. So let's do TNNL. See if we can find a decent ceiling. I'm actually going to use one of these floors. So I've got that. Oops. And I'm going to use the block and draw just another block up here. Create. Okay, and we have ourselves another room. Easy. Now it looks kind of weird, right? We have these cinder blocks and this pipe that just sort of disappear into this concrete wall. So let's let's do some more work with the clipping tool. So I'm going to Grab this texture again, zoom in, and let's put sort of a shape like this, like a column right there. Okay, and we're looking at it from the side here. 
and we're going to take the clipping tool and just chop off a corner here. Now remember they're both white so I'm going to click until it becomes red on the part that I want gone which is the top corner and hit enter and now we got some kind of cool little columns here. So now we have a unique shape here and watch what happens when we stretch it. This angle is going to be proportionate to the original shape. See that? So what we can do is click in there until we see the yellow handle and now we can perform the stretch. And it keeps that angle the same so that is what the stretch tool does. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and make another one by holding down shift and dragging and now we have two. And then let's create some more advanced geometry here. I'm going to create a brand new block like this. This time I'm going to go all the way to the ceiling. Right click create and you still you see it's still selected here so we're going to select the new block and now we're in the top view and let's just shave off some of these corners here like that. And then I'm going to try and make one on the other side. So I'm just panning my view. I'm going to copy by holding down shift, dragging down. And now I'm going to use the rotational handle. And with the 15 degree presets, you see it pops right into place. Pretty cool, huh? So now we're, we can kind of explore creating things that We'll make our rooms less of just a cube, right? So let's put something on the other side. I'm going to create a smaller, I'm going to do two more columns, but I'm going to make them a little different here. So I've created that and using our top view, grab, grab uh, get the clipping tool. All right, so you see how the left top part is white now. So when I hit enter, we're going to lose the bottom right part, which I wanted to keep. So a quick way to fix this without having to go back and click on the clipping tool again is we'll just change this angle and you see how that spins around. And we can do press enter. And then I'm going to do the same holding down shift, drag, move up. And you see when, when I move this around, it pans, so that's convenient. Okay, click onto the block again to change the handles to the rotation and spin it, lock it into the grid. And there we go. Now we have another room.